you saw the weapons that they're using, the ammunition they're using, I think you'd agree that most of the effort is indigenous. Uh, it's true they're getting communist, uh, Chinese communist mortar shells in over the border, but not very many. And they're still using literally handmade weapons. We've captured three what they call arms factories in South Vietnam, which are simply hand uh, operated lays that uh, shape pipe to be used for guns, uh, gun barrels and things of that kind. So most of the effort, most of the recruiting, and most of the material is coming from, from South Vietnam. Some of the material from Cambodia, they buy sulfur and, and uh, miscellaneous chemicals for use in making powder from Cambodia, for example. But in any case, I believe that we will be able to get it under control. It may take uh, two years or three years, possibly, but we should now be looking to the time when we'll have a normal military program there. Instead, they're proposing fantastic military assistance programs. Uh, I think we ought to take 75 to 100 million out of the 65, 66, 67 military assistance programs they're talking about and be looking to a normal relationship so we don't build up another Korea. When I look at what's happened to Korea, in the way of, of U.S. aid and how difficult it's going to be to scale that aid down, we certainly don't want to let a, another Korea develop in South Vietnam, and we're well on the way to doing that. So I, this was one of my major points of yesterday. And secondly, I think that, as I mentioned before, both for domestic political purposes and also because of the psychological effect it would have in South Vietnam, we ought to think about the possibility of bringing a thousand men home by the end of the year. I've asked them to lay out that plan without at the present time making any decision to That's right. put it in effect.